and I welcome you all to this group discussion. The topic is Narendra Modi as the Prime Minister candidate from a common man's perspective. Now, in the beginning, I would like to say that from a common man's perspective, there are two important things for a Prime Minister. Number one, that whether people are willing to vote Narendra Modi as the Prime Minister, as we have seen in Gujarat from the past three-time election, Narendra Modi ji is winning the elections every time. Uh, in Gujarat, we have the highest GDP and the highest HDI, and the credit goes to Narendra Modi because he's working on the five aspects that a common man needs. What they need is Jan Shakti, Jal Shakti, Gyan Shakti, Urja Shakti and Raksha Shakti and all of them are fulfilled by Narendra Modi in his administration. Good morning, I am Jasmine and this is my partner Diksha and uh, we are speaking for the motion. Uh, we support Narendra Modi. The demographic dividend of our country is at its peak right now. 65% of our population is below the age of 35. In order to encash upon the energy, the zeal and the power of the youth, what we need is a stable government, a strong leadership, a leader who has a political will, who has, uh, who has performed. The, uh, the agricultural growth of a state like Gujarat, which lies so near to the desert of Thar, is 10%, while the agricultural growth of the entire country is going around in negatives. A wise man once said, I'm a common man, I'm a CM from my birth. I'll remain one throughout my life. In our country, the secular and the communal definitions are being found majorly by the biased media. Now here I come in. Uh, with a quote of famous Sushma Swaraj's piece of 96. She said, until you are being ashamed of being a Hindu, you cannot be secular. Now this point uh, will be substanti substantiated by my example. Narendra Modi in 2008 raised 30 temples just for the widening of roads in Gujarat. Now this point was taken up by the media and only then he was projected as a secular being. So all this hype about him being not secular is uh, just the counterpoints by his detractors. The way he initiated Gujarat to the top with the same hope, the same power, he'll rule the country, my dear friends. Man, he has a different class in him. The way of his speaking, the way like he ignites the fire in a person while he's giving the speech, he is different. Narendra Modi has been a great, has done great job for Gujarat and I think after three terms in uh, of doing great job in uh, work in Gujarat, he deserves the Prime Minister candidateship. Uh, he, India is consists of world's one seventh population, and we don't we need a leader who can carry us forward like Narendra Modi. Narendra Modi is a follower of Hinduism. He declared it publicly, but what he says that I follows the principle of Hinduism, that is no ahimsa, karma theory. He doesn't say that I will support only Hindus. He, Team one, definitely Narendra Modi has shown lot many points. It is media and the opposition party that has trying to sabotage his image, keeping 2002 riots as a centre. So adding to it, I would say 10 to 11 percent agriculture increase in Gujarat. हमें अपने corporates for example Tata Airlines को साथ में लेके development करनी है तो उसने example set किया जब Nano Factory के Tata की Nano Factory गुजरात में set up की थी उसने three दिन में सारे permissions दे दी थी but at only one cost कि वहाँ की जो villagers हैं उनको train करके वहाँ पे factory में काम दिया जाए तो इससे common man connect होता है fulfill each and every aspect not only the recruitment and we are here to talk about India not just about Gujarat the main point here is what Modi wants to do after he's, uh, he's become the Prime Minister. He's already done whatever he wanted to do when he was the Chief Minister. So we cannot say that uh, Mr. Modi is not uh, um, able to connect with the minorities. Uh, it would have been very good if there was one team or two teams who are against. Hoti. It would have been a healthier discussion. Uh, but all in all, in content, I'm very happy that people have actually come up with very good content. For other teams who are sitting, I would encourage that if somebody can come up with you know, against motion, this was something very common which was pointed out by the participants that yes, most of the people might come up with a for motion. So, I would like urge people to come up with something that negates this thing. It's not an exaggeration to say that Mr. Narendra Modi right now seems to be the answer to all the problems that the nation is facing today. Uh, development in Gujarat and Mr. Narendra Modi are always being associated. But critics have invented the argument that thanks to the long-standing tradition of entrepreneur in, in Gujarat that it has grown so fast. But if so, why is Rajasthan not a, a growth powerhouse despite its legendary Marwadi uh, entrepreneurship? It is worthwhile to say that silence is not understood as agreement. If one agrees with an opinion, he is supposed to say so. And I put my confidence in Narendra Modi. 
The head Modi brigade with Congress as the main constituent is desperate to stop Namus Jagannath and derail his journey to Delhi. And a family run Congress does not possess commitment and resilience in, in, to survive in such a difficult decade. It is, it is time to raise questions and call the bluff of Arvind Kejriwal of our. Is he a fascist masquerading as Democrat? Is, is it conspiracy to lead India to anarchy? So first thing that uh, the first reason for why I am in the support of Narendra Modi as a Prime Minister candidate is the growth. Is his experience that, his, uh, that he carries with him. Uh, one more thing I want to make clear that you are putting your stance forward. I have given this thing for the participants so that you can quickly <coughs> tell me your stance. You need to conclude quickly. You can't take forever because the group discussion itself is of 10 minutes. So please keep it precise. Keep your stance very precise and clear. Uh, Narendra Modi has been an extraordinary Chief Minister. He's been a person who has branded Gujarat as a state with exponential growth rate. The GDP of Gujarat is three times that of India's average. Narendra Modi, the most popular leader of India presently. Clear from all the opinions, opinion polls, the nation wants this three-time Chief Minister to be the next PM of India. The development model in Gujarat has been appreciated everywhere and everyone. The UPA has failed miserably and Narendra Modi is the answer to the next PM candidate of India and we support him. The only option that I see is Narendra Modi. Now I'm not saying that he's not corrupt, like you said that he will tackle corruption. I don't, I'm not guaranteeing that he will not probably be a corrupt leader. He may turn out to be probably a corrupt leader than Arvind Kejriwal was. But look at his track record, his 15 years of being the Chief Minister of Gujarat and I agree with all those points that you just put across that it has put across 11.05% growth as compared to the 9% GDP growth in the other parts of the country, etc, etc. What I like about Narendra Modi is his vision for the country.